Well, hello. Today I'd like to show you some different games you can play with yarn. To make your yarn cat's cradle um, games, a lot of times to measure the string we guess at it, but I found an easy way to do it is to wrap it around your elbow once and then twice. And where they meet, that's where you snip it off and cut. And I just so happen to have one just for the right size. So Cat's Cradle games are played with a circle of string, and two hands. To get started, we want to put it over our thumbs and our pinky fingers so that it's going straight across the palm. It will look like this in the back and this in the front. And you open your hands wide like this. This is a starter position. Today I'm going to teach you how to make the eagle's claw. You start in the starter position and take your pointer finger from your right hand and grab the string across the palm here and drag it all the way until you can't anymore. I like to keep mine for, for this particular one up above my knuckle because for my next room, move, I'm going to twist it around my finger once, then around my finger twice, and that can be quite tricky. After you're done with that, just kind of tug it with your other hand so that it comes all the way down to the end of your finger. Next, we're going to take this pointer finger and grab this string right here, but we're going to go between where we've just twisted our string. So I'm going to bring that finger over and under that string and pull it back. Now you've got everything down on your hands. All the strings are down. The last move is where the eagle's claw gets created. We're going to take our pinky and gently let that string fall off it. Then we're going to take our thumb and gently let the string fall off that. Then with a little bit of a pull, we've got an eagle's claw. And to make it go away, just simply pull on it. Oops. And you get started all over again. I've made up a little rhyme for the eagle's claw to help you get started. Small animals live on the forest floor. Up in the sky, the eagle soars. But when the eagle twists and turns and dives, little forest creatures run to hide. For in the forest, there are few laws except to avoid the eagle's claws. The next cat's cradle game I'd like to teach you is called the witch's broom. And this is very fun. To get started on this one, we put the string over our thumb and over our pinky on our left hand. The first thing we're going to do is make the witch's hat. So pull your string and it will look like a very skinny pointed witch's hat. If you grab it in the middle, it looks more like a witch's hat. Okay. The second move is the black bat. Imagine him flying in the witch's house, the black bat. Next, this is under the table where we find the black cat. Grab these two strings here, so you have to come in here, grab this and this, you pull it down in through the loop and you'll see this figure. Now you have to make these three fingers come in like that. Lay those back and you'll see one, two, three little strings. 
you want to grab the string in the middle. And this is where the witch's broom is made. The witch's broom. In the witch's house, you'll find the witch's hat. In the corner of her house is a flying black bat. Under the table is the scary cat. And he always has claws ready to attack. And in the corner of the witch's room is her magic flying broom. Well, I hope you enjoyed our video today. Thanks for having a crafternoon with us.